Hey guys, just wanted to show you another quick mod I did in our new 16 BHS here. As you can see, the bathroom's pretty small. Um, as you can see, it's not a lot of width here. And for a guy my size, uh, 6'2", weighing in about 260. This door's pretty narrow. The space is pretty narrow. The old curtain kind of came straight down and hung on this kind of chimsy rail here along with these little chimpsy clips and it was uh again i'm gonna use the word one more time chimpsy curtain it was literally like a little thin piece of plastic that i uh, just didn't like and the wife didn't either it looks pretty uh generic really more like a dollar store curtain um the railing's decent i don't mind it so much but it wasn't giving us a lot of room um as you can see it's like right along the edge of the wall here so um, you were going to be standing in there and that curtain was going to be touching you and brushing up against you while you're showering. Nobody likes that feeling, right? So I saw a few different things. Camco's got one. Um, found this other brand. Uh, let me back up here just a second. I keep forgetting the name of this thing. Uh, Extend a shower. You can get this on Amazon. I uh, can't remember exactly the brand name on it. Trying to look for it to like a German name. There we go. Stromberg Carlson. Um, like I said, Camco does make one pretty much just the same. Camco's is a little bit lighter. This weighs in at about three pounds. Camco's is about a pound and a half. Um, the only concern I had with that was the weight. Because as you see, I'll go ahead and back up so you can actually see. I've already got it installed here. Um, as you see, it does come out. Comes out quite well curtain's going to give us more than enough room and then it collapses in which I'll show you in just a minute to give you that space back when you're not showering but my concern as I was saying is right here where these screws go in here and here to give you that girth and the same thing I did it on this side um, the near stud to this side was way over here at the door frame um, or I would have had to put it all the way up to the ceiling which I didn't want I wanted some breathability here um, and then same on this side, I got lucky the studs just a little bit, or the ceiling bra brace up here is a little bit lower. So I got this one to grab, but this one's kind of just through this paneling. Um, there's really nothing on the other side of this. There's not another stud till here and another one here in the corner. But for something that says it's 16 on center, I can tell you right now, you can see how far away that is. From here all the way to that corner, it's far more than 16 inches and there's not a stud anywhere in between. Now, uh, like I said, I'll put some better anchors in there just to ensure it and uh, pray that nobody decides to try and do pull-ups in here. But to collapse that, you could go either direction. I'll do it in this way since I've already got the camera in here. You just kind of push that in. I'll show my hand motion here. You just kind of push that in. And then the other side kind of pushes in too. Then you back up and you can kind of see that goes all the way in there and now you'll have more than enough room curtains going to be out here giving you plenty of girth and to return it pretty much the same thing you just kind of push in that side a little bit to allow this side to pull back out and voila kind of center it up there just to make it look good for the video and there you go uh, we will be hanging a curtain much nicer curtain and shower curtain on here uh, liner i should say and curtain on here to make it look nice and pretty uh, per my wife's tastes, and uh, I think it looks pretty good too. I'll give you a quick snapshot of that once we get it in, but for tonight, that's the uh, that's the end of my part of the project. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm definitely standing behind this one. I'll give a later review once we've actually got to have it in uh, testing mode, as well as uh, time to see how well that holds against the wall. Um, have a great night, guys.